Okay, here we are back in Resident Evil 2. So with the Leon one recorded, I'll probably be doing that one first. We're gonna do the Claire one, hardcore, usual, no infinite knife, no infinite weapons, yada yada. So Claire has received the most changes from the uh, original Resident Evil 2 on PS1. And as a result, she is significantly more powerful than Leon, I'd argue. Ah, oh, crud, I have the wrong costume on her. I wanted to put the noir one on, but we'll go Elsa, I guess. Maybe I can change midway, I don't know. Are you okay? Wait I think her noir I'll costume's her best one, personally. Don't come any closer! So just like Leon, the only thing that carries over from this mode teaser thing, whatever you want to call it, is her ammo. It doesn't matter if you get bit. Her early game is essentially the same as Leon's. It's when you get a little bit further and they start to differentiate. I'm a little bit more nervous on her than Leon because I think inventory is more important. Could have put them both in Noir now that I think about it. That's a waste Attention of opportunity. Come on, Claire, gotta go fast. Can't stop. Gotta keep moving. Now, since Claire does have a revolver, she does reload bullets one at a time, just like Leon's shotgun. It's like the end of the world. You have to be very careful on your shots with her, otherwise you could find yourself struggling to squeeze a bullet in, get a shot off, and it may not stagger the enemy you're hoping it would. Station. She does have a semi-auto that you can get later, but that's in the basement after the first boss. And don't worry, her revolver eventually upgrades into like a magnum type weapon, so she has some kick. So this is one of those RNG segments I was referring to in the Leon game. We're gonna end up having to burn a first aid spray early because I'm probably gonna get bit in that one hallway. Sometimes that guy moves, sometimes they don't. Anybody here? Claire does have less health than Leon, it's just when you're on hardcore mode, there's not really much of a difference. Like with Leon, we are going to grab the first aid spray here for safety because I'm already off to a rough start, and I think this is the only shelf Claire can move. She will have needles for her spark shot hidden here later if you do the secret stash, whatever it's called. And she'll have a TMP upgrade for Wesker's desk. Now, since Claire does have two pistols, I think she only has like two upgrades for the revolver, oh, one of which oh is a speed God. loader, and the other thing is turning it into the Magnum. Open up! Open it As a Magnum, you can actually alternate back and Open forth between the different types. Okay, that's one we dodged. Now we just need to get lucky with this other one. And using that first aid spray will not be as devastating. So far, so good. So now we meet Marvin. So one of the quirks about Claire that I can tell you about is that she moves faster injured than she does fine. I think her optimal movement speed is in caution health. So that's why in case you ever see a speed run with her, they live dangerously like that. We're getting ready to fire our first shots with the revolver in a moment. 
I should mention I'm expecting you guys to have seen the Leon one first because of some of the references I'm going to make. If there's something you don't understand, I checked that part in the Leon video just to make sure I didn't explain it there. Because the first thing is zombies are bullet sponges. If you're going to use the infinite knife, you can make very short work out of them. I'm not because that was the challenge I was given. So we're going to settle for kneecapping them. takes 5 to kneecap them, it would probably take like 15 to 20 to actually kill said zombie. Those boards are a lot more important if you're trying to do the max inventory space achievement. There will be liquors and zombies and all other weirdos here later, so... Do yourself a favor and try to tilt the odds a little bit in your favor. You'll thank yourself for it. Um, I should also mention I do have the DLC, so I could switch to a semi-auto weapon right now if I wanted to, but... Some people may not have it, so... We're gonna do it as is. He's up there, which is favorable. I put away the green herb already, which... Bleh, not a big deal. I'm hoping this will reset his aggro. And we need to crack this. Let me open my text file. Don't want to erase anything important. So, 4 1. Uh, let's just call that 756, I think. Two seven. Oh. 2576. Four three one. Seven six four three hmm? two five seven six four eight two five seven six four one three This is necessary to I forgot what all it unlocks for player. I think it's like flame rounds. I do want to kneecap the guy. Come on. Your knee isn't going to fall off on its own yet. There we go. Was that so hard? I'm undecided if I'm going to get the TMP or not, so let's go ahead and put this in. DCM. I may get it just to spite Mr. X. Here you'll see the liquor. What was that? We need two inventory spaces, so I'm gonna leave everything here alone. Since Leon has bigger ammo capacity, Where? you can grab the handgun ammo, but since hers is smaller, you can't. Why was that? I've got something to show you. It's important. Alright, I'm on my way. Of course, she's over there. That's necessary for the TMP. And I didn't realize proximity is how you wake him up. There's handgun ammo behind me, but I'm only going to grab it if I really need it. Here's where you find out where Leon's been. 
he'll be in his Resident Evil 2 classic costume because that's what I uh, used on his playthrough. This is your speed loader. Um, Ned. And MRG. So, yeah, we're done reloading one bullet at a time like a chump. <sighs> So yeah, that was horribly inefficient. I was hoping I could just stagger him or something, but can't have anything go my way, you know? Seven left. This will give us an inventory expansion. Oh, that... He's supposed to have a cooldown on that. Once he misses, I'm free to approach him. Instead, he just did two attacks back to back. Grab the lion metal while we're here. All the combinations are the same in both games. The only thing that makes it differ is if you are playing the beast scenario or not. It's a kila, not a ram. here yet. I forgot what upgrade this is. Might be for her semi-auto. And then 11. Actually, this might be the magnum part, because the other one would be the grenade launcher stock, wouldn't it? Nope, it's a semi-auto clip. Just like Leon, you can get it out of the lab if you don't get it here in the police station. I'm going to leave the other green herb alone. I'll pick it up when I'm running from Mr. X later. Tooth and happy thoughts, man, but you're clearly on the pixie dust. I've got some. He's everywhere. Marvin? Marvin, are you there? Marvin? God, you gotta be kidding me. I should not have taken the green herb, I think. Oh no. 
So if you remember in Leon's game, that guy just minded his own business. Holy crap. She can't aim. Shit. I'm hoping they're not on the other side of this door, which they very well could be. So yeah, that could have been even worse luck than I was afraid of. Not see anything else here I need. So now we need to go back down the liquor hallway so we can pop the one thing. That's going to open up a shortcut that we're going to need later on to move the bookcases. The liquor is not here yet, but there are zombies. This is the last time Claire needs to enter this hall, by the way. Pretend she didn't say anything there. Flame rounds are incredibly important. You can only find them, you cannot make them. I think I can carry that. They stack up to 10. I don't know why I just did that. Fuck. So he was in a bad spot, but it didn't work against me, luckily. Guess I could put the valve handle in here in the future, so I'm not pressed for space as much. We're going to be picking up more flame rounds in a moment, so... Actually... We'll get a flash grenade in the star's office. It was on the whiteboard as we ran by, <laughs> where we found the bomb. I don't believe you can actually find acid rounds anywhere. You have to make those using the gunpowder. Now, there is a liquor in here, so walk. If the liquors are weak to acid rounds or not. All I know is G3 is extremely weak to them, so it's extremely fun to abuse. Uh, her high grade gun gunpowder is white, in case you're wondering why there's a color difference. Leon's is yellow. Lore wise, that's supposed to be for the uh, ghost survivors.
You're supposed to be able to combine, like, yellow and white to make something, I don't remember. I don't really care for the ghost survivor scenarios. I don't really care for Hunker Tofu either, to be honest. Okay, to get this, it is Pisces. Scorpio. Aquarius. So the one disadvantage Claire has is she can't deal immense damage to one zombie's location like the shotgun can. be a liquor in here momentarily, but I want to grab the gunpowder because you need this for acid rounds. You can also make handgun rounds if you're so inclined. Usually I say I don't judge, but yes, I do. There would be an uh, inventory expansion there on a uh, easier difficulty. So if you don't want this to fall over, you're able to go through the door to the library, I think. Actually, now that I think about it, do I bring the flash grenade? Otherwise, this is going to get dicey. Yes. Okay, you are Virgo. Sagittarius. And the Snake Ophetius, not Aries. Not Aquila. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. off about that, man. Like, just throwing the door open would have busted her in the head. Just saying. Since you can't combine that with a blue herb, that's why I kind of do it that way. And I forgot all about the knives. 
Almost grabbed the infant one on accident. And we'll get rid of this one. My Christmas Eve file. My blind one. Okay, so we are 24 minutes in. I didn't see any problems while recording this one, unlike the Leon one. Hope that's a good sign. Pretty much if uh, the knives don't work. <laughs> yeah. Luckily for Claire, you can ignite crap with the incendiary rounds, the flame rounds, we're going to call them, and that will deal a little bit of chip damage over time. Occasionally that will make a difference, and I just realized I still have my stupid ink ribbons and I put them away, damn it. Anyway, she can't move the shelf here, so Sherry's going to warn you. That's Sherry somewhere around here. Hello? fight, man. The one thing that sucks is I'm going to be really pressed for inventory space since I have the ink ribbon. I may end up having to throw that away. I'll just find another one later. Normally I try to keep one throughout the entire game so I can keep track of my saves even if I'm not mentally doing it. Actually, it might still be fine. No. There's a green herb over here. We can combine the green herbs together. Then there's just the gunpowder to grab. This way. You don't tell me what to do, brat. Oh man, I do not remember any of her orphanage crap now that I think about it. Oh my god, that is gonna be agony. It won't move. It's gonna be worse than Leon with the chemical puzzle. So, what's your mom like? She works at Umbrella. She's an Umbrella? That big pharmaceutical company? My mom's always at work. That's because she doesn't like you. Hopefully you'll get to see her again soon. Maybe you should have been a better kid when you had a chance. So, where is your dad? He ran away too. Or just my mom, but... Now, Claire does have to get the diamond key wow. because you need Both to get into the chief's gone. office. Just me and my brother. Oh. Speaking of the chief, we're Over about there. to meet him. This part doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I don't really know why the chief would bother Claire. Okay. Key card first. And then that asshole gets what's coming to him. By trying to cooperate with her, he could have gotten her to let her guard down and yeah, but I guess it's just supposed to be the hubris of the character or something. So 
we're gonna grab her semi-auto real quick. Now I think this is the first time I've carried three guns. Okay, so that's how I change between them. <laughs> the liquor there. Liquor went into the kennel area. So for Leon, we stopped to kill the dogs. We do not have that luxury. Now yes, you can knife the liquors to death. It's not so to make up that time difference between the two characters, we're going to push this back in. That way I have more room to maneuver. You're more likely to get stuck on that than the zombie is, as much as I hate to say it. I don't know if he comes back or not, but we're going to push him in too, just in case. Can't make it too easy on him, you know? Inventory-wise... Leon only has two diamond doors, Claire has three. some sort of piece of lore that tells you the reason why they still approach you is because they smell you or something. Because that annoys me so much. We're not going to go in the shooting range because I'm pressed for space anyway. For a second there I thought my phone was ringing. I took my eyes off the screen. I was really terrified I was going to be walking into a wall and people from. were going to ask me, Hero, how much do you have a drink before you play this game? Bastard is the police. It's cheap. <sighs> thought that was in Kendo's, but okay. for general use. Now you know why the chief is so fat. It's not just the donuts, apparently. <laughs> anyway, we're done with the diamond key unless we want to get the final inventory expansion. Mr. X never corners you in this hallway. Actually, yes, I do need that. Is there actually anything up there? I don't remember. No, it's just an homage, I think. Before you had to push that over to get a crank or something. Do I even need 
this. Yeah, that shutter. Okay. This will still work. I need to run upstairs and grab the board real quick. For Leon, I'm able to grab the one out there, but Claire does not have that luxury. And I need the one for the... Actually, do I even need that one now that I think about it? That's... May have been unnecessary. Anyway, we need to come here to get the TMP. Or something if you're willing to go to the other side of the mirror. But there is no realistic reason for you to ever want to do that. <laughs> Put that away. Oops. Oh my god, game. There's a raccoon up there, by the way. God, I can't grab it. We're gonna throw this away. <laughs> Actually, yes, we could. No. That was three heart doors I opened. Isn't that the end of the key? There's a fourth one. Put that away. Okay, I don't remember where the other one of that was. Because we didn't go in that area of the... Basement. I think it might be where the club key was. Yeah, 
there's an item box over there. But anyway, since Claire doesn't eat donuts like Leon and the other cops do, she doesn't risk breaking that. I was looking to stun the female one so I could run by. You can see how that panned out. So I believe Claire is now at her fastest speed. Now you do need, do need to go that way because you need him to open up the rest of the police station. Leon raises the shutter, she doesn't. She goes around it. Do I want to use this? Sad part is this is going to get Marvin up. It should have, I don't know why not, I'm not going to argue. There's a liquor over here, so walk. So yeah, that's where the third blank key space is for the, or the second blank key, but position three for the armory dial thing. I do not recommend going in there with Mr. X on your tail. He can catch you in there and beat you to death. You can literally not do anything.
It's up to you if you want to get that to get any of the upgrades for it. I'm not a fan of the TMP, so... Not happening. Ah, oh, he's in front of me. I prefer him to be behind me. You never know when he's just going to look around and make a 180 and... Crap, it's the fan. I think we have his attention. Now, I don't think I pointed this out in Leon's game, but there is ammo back here. Just making sure I have everything I need. I should. Like Leon's game, there's a dude hiding in the blind spot around the pillar. Green herb there if you need it. That's him smacking the zombies around outside. He's not very friendly to them either. That worked. So, lore-wise, in case you're wondering why Mr. X doesn't enter some of the rooms, it's supposed to be for people like Wesker, the inside agents, to hide. That way they can ensure their own safety. That's specifically why he can't go into the star's office, because that's where Wesker would be expected to be. And yes, I know he's supposed to have been dead for a month. But maybe they're thinking of the chief, too. Get a hobby. Take up knitting. I need him to go the other way. He can't get out that way. Save me, Mr. X. I think sometimes he can interrupt their animations, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Now, just like the Star's office, since Irons is in on it, Mr. X should not be able to enter this either. I'm 
trying to think of what else I may need. It's also going to confuse me if this is all the way up here. <laughs> what am I even using these circuits for? Sorry about that, um, had to take a phone call, unfortunately it was work related, so can't play dead. <laughs> yeah, aw oh, man, I, oh, I was on the phone, I should have looked up the stupid orphanage crap. That might have been the minimum number of moves, I don't know. So now it's orphanage time. What is that? So one of the kids hit a block, they didn't get the memo you're supposed to hide shivs. can be in the first position. That one cannot be in second. There we go. I think there's an achievement for doing that one in the minimum number of moves, but still out of practice. this. Just like Ada... Actually, is that her classic costume? I don't remember. Anyway, this is the hide-and-seek minigame. Sherry can't defend herself. You just have to hide from the chief. That must be the door out of here! I don't know if you have to actually examine this or not, but I do just in case. Darn it! I need the key! Oh no! 
no, it's him. There it is. So I mean, where is this key at? She threw acid You're in his face. So fucking sorry. Go away. So he curses at you if you go Help. over the door. Somebody, We're gonna try to keep this as family friendly as possible. I mean, it's not like there's Stupid cannibalization or anything, right? In. Vision works here. It's all over now. Doors locked. Where are you? Show yourself. I know you're in here. The longer it takes me to find you, the worse it's gonna be. That's why we need to make sure we don't get caught. Here's the part that's a little counterintuitive. She always looks like she's sticking out to me, but she's not. Must not make Pinocchio joke. Must not make Pinocchio joke. There are kids around. He needs to go in the bathroom and wash his mouth out with soap, I tell you. Oh, oh, it burns! There we go. Now while he washes his mouth out, we can go grab the key. Yoink. Hi. I see you. Now I don't really know why she couldn't just lock the door behind her. Maybe only locks from one way or something. Hurry, hurry, hurry. What? Nice try. I don't know if that's necessary for Claire to get in or not. It might be. Here's where he goes all shining on her. I'm coming to you, Sherry! He forgot to say, here's Johnny. Get over here, you little bitch. Anyway, that's the end of the orphanage. Thirty minutes earlier, Chief Irons ordered a pizza. Good to see you again, Claire. Small snack between his dinner and... Just you wait, asshole. Between his lunch and his dinner. Okay, we're about to meet Mr. X. There are zombies there and dogs. I brought the machine gun for dogs. I'm hoping I don't need it. So I really don't know how to aim this thing. <laughs> Now 
there are lots of ways to kite him around here. Sounds like he punched. Going over here because I took some unexpected damage earlier and I want to replenish my green herb supply. Now, Leon has to go to Kendo's. She doesn't, so that's why she doesn't get the grenade thing. That's right. She needs to get through that fenced area. I think I may have been able to make it there, but I'm trying to kite them out a little bit. A little bit of safety at the expense of 10 seconds, maybe. Looks like the only way forward. Now, I do not know if Mr. X can come up here. The audio makes me think he cannot, but I can't verify that. they can jump in here or not. If they can't, that would be your chance to light them up. Oh, no. And in case you're wondering, yes, you can shoot out from the bus at them it's if you're so your inclined. Case. Is that an earth over there? Hang on, Sherry. If it is, it's not worth confronting the dogs. <laughs> anyway, we kneecap the one zombie back there so she can't hop over the dumpster after us. Hello? There are supplies I upstairs, it's just I'm not interested in them. Eh, <sighs> fine. We have time at the moment, even though I went a little bit out of my way. It's gonna cost us maybe a minute. It's TMP ammo, first aid spray. It's in the bathroom where Irons was. Sherry? I want to say there's also Sherry, a raccoon here? around here somewhere in case you're looking for him. <laughs> well, it's 24? <laughs> Oh man, it's worse than I thought. So yeah, it's upgrades are in the same place as Leon's Magnum. It's just, I don't see how that can compete against the Magnum. That's why I'm going to use most of my high-grade gunpowder, if not all of it, on acid rounds. He got sprouted. Here's the part that makes no sense. I'm actually going to show the scene so you can see it. Go, go, go! Clear! It's behind you! Don't stop! Hurry! Keep going! Right here. Sherry, come on!
That contradicts both Leon A and B. Like, Mr. X is dead there. He does not appear in the scenario anymore. It just makes no sense why they'd do that. Where did Sherry go? Sherry's water? That's Claire's magnum ammo. Right, we have to hop down somewhere. And... There's where we hop down. So Jerry? yes, you finally see me draw a new weapon. Me? Something that doesn't fire those 9mm pieces of crap. So this is where Leon slides down from. That is there in Leon's game, just so you know. But the larva will not start to appear until we get to the platform area. Here? I don't remember if it's dogs or zombies that are in the room. <laughs> That's crap. I fired that so that the concussion would knock them back. S C F Hold on, Sherry. I'll be right there. Okay. We're we looking for a healing item. Well, it's a good thing I went to that bathroom after all, eh? We're gonna be back here in a moment. The Magnum upgrade's over there. Sewers left 2, right 12, and then left 8. I don't think the zombie is there in Leon's game, it's kind of guarding that blue herb. I don't really care for it, so I'm gonna leave it be. Combination is still on the side of the safe, in case you're wondering. So let's see, spark shot plus three pieces plus key, we need six inventory spaces. And I didn't show the clue in Leon's game if you want to see it. There you go. That part is due to the phone call. I don't know how far in I am. We're an hour in. 20 minutes, I should be looking to save.
like last time, make sure this one is queued up first to free up the inventory space. to admit, out of any costume in the sewers, I'd want this one. I think it's just gonna protect you a little bit better from all the crap water. Well, it's worse is not just crap water. I mean, with Umbrella's facility right there, there's no telling what kinds of chemicals are in here, what those zombies were eating. So I may need to discard my handgun ammo like I did with Leon, we'll see. I can grab that red herb to replace what I'm about to use. I'm gonna consume this when I grab the other plug. Okay, for some reason it won't let me drag it. Oh, because I'm in the fuse box menu. Makes sense. stuck there until Raccoon City gets nuked. I don't even know if that's how it ends in the new Resident Evil 3. <laughs> I think they make a reference to it in Resident Evil 4 still, but I don't know what all is and isn't considered storyline anymore. still see the flame. He has to pop up. When he goes back down, we'll hop down. I'm not 
not sure what type of ammo that was. these like this. See, I could have gotten the TMP upgrade, but I didn't manage my inventory correctly. Do I have the space? No. So we're going to grab it on the way back down. Going to drop the spark shot. I'm trying to think of how devastating not having those flash grenades is going to be. I don't think it's going to be too bad. stack. Um, I think that's all I need, actually. So the part down here is, I want to say a... S no, it's the silencer for the TMP. So that's handy when Mr. X is running around. Thing is, he's not running anywhere anymore. <laughs> it's also handy for the lickers, I guess, because you can shoot stuff and they don't hear it. But we're not going back up, so we do not need the silencer. I don't think it does anything else for your gun, either. Five magnum rounds. Not too shabby. such an easy time with G3, I really don't think that'll be an issue. I 
guess he actually is dead. So yeah, I didn't need to take the handle with me after all. I need to make a note of that. Jerry, on my way. Never combine these now that I think about it. <laughs> take the grenade launcher with. Save number two. Okay, took a small break. Need to get back in. Drop that, drop that, add that. It's gonna lead off with the handgun ammo. I don't remember what ammo is down here. It might be TMP. But up here is a time segment, so we are going to sit in the corner, let it all play out. I'm going to kind of be surfing in a different computer. <laughs> yeah, everything here plays out the exact same as Leon's thing. Squeeze in here and you're golden. fight. Oh crud, that could have been bad. He can get very close to you up here, so just stay on guard. <laughs> One thing I really hate about this boss is that there's awkward recoil for his attacks. He may seemingly knock you away, but, well, animation-wise he knocks you away, but recoil-wise you literally walk into him. I'm taking damage because that was a direct hit. <laughs> I think I was invulnerable for that. That one I was not. Yeah, 
yeah, some of these hitboxes are overly generous for him. <laughs> and that's putting it very, very mildly. What's worse is that interrupts your reload animation. You can't, like, animation cancel or anything in this game. Overall, this doesn't really do anything. So we need to hit him twice because I'm not packing that much of a damage output. It is possible for him to get up and move out of the way, so just be aware that's a possibility. Catch! He pulls it down with him so the area is trashed. In case you're wondering what happened here. I'm so sorry, Sherry. This is taking forever. Overall, we're still making good time, I think. I think there might be a raccoon down there for Leon's game, I'm not sure. Ned said her lab's not far. Wait, that cable car. Anyway, we're gonna need our flame rounds in a moment to deal with the ivies. Hold on, Sherry. You're gonna be fine. Almost there, Sherry. We're almost there. But yeah, we're in the home stretch now. Oh, good. The cable car. Sherry has a bracelet that allows you okay. to get in. Better check everything. There's no turning back. We're gonna steal her bracelet in a moment. This tram is bound for Nest. Do not exit until the final destination. I'm getting you treatment. Just hold on, Sherry. It's okay. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. Drop off Sherry here. There are flame rounds that we need to take, which I can't grab because I'm inventory space. Sublime. Put that away, put that away, put that away. We do need those. Um, t -t 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 we're looking for here. There's a couple zombies we need to deal with. I think there's three items here we need to grab. The first is the needles. Our menu is designed for your nutritional needs using our latest biological research. Please enjoy our tasty selection of healthy foods. Next one I want is that for more acid rounds later. We're gonna leave the knife.
lucky crit. The final inventory expansions in one of these, you have to use the modulator there to get it to open. There's the capacitor. And now if you get too close to the kitchen doors there, the zombies can get out, so I try to hug the right wall. There is a raccoon in there, so if you want it, I can bring a frag grenade or something. <laughs> Thin the herd a bit. Dr. Lee, your presence is urgently requested. Well, we found Dr. Lee, and he's not going to be responding to much, I'm afraid. By Chief Cartwright in the east area. He has the modulator in the B scenarios. Where do we find it here? Oh, right, upstairs. Time-wise, we are at... Wow, we have a while. This may be less than two hours. Tempted to go into the closet here to show you what extra items you can grab. Thing is, you have to get past the liquors, which is a tad annoying. Uh, the ID wristbands on the corpse. That's why that pops up like that. Helps if I hit the thing. Case closed. Jesus. I don't... he might be able to do it on easy, but I don't think I've ever seen these things actually get incinerated. <gasps> Dispensing solution. Doesn't really matter where it goes. Trying to group these guys together. Sometimes you can kill those guys in two or three flame rounds instead of having to use four like I did. That was like worst case scenario. No, no, no. Engaged. Red. Adjust amount of solution green, to match cartridge capacity. Blue. Red. Green. So yes, you just have to keep going right to left. Start with the red. At least I think it was red I started with. So real quick, we could combine these to get acid rounds. We got six, which is higher end, I believe. Did the music change?
quick we need to equip this. Who's still alive? For some reason it doesn't deal enough damage to kill all of them. Liquors will drop down, so make sure you're on guard. Don't jump. They will. Later, nerds. There's two of them there, by the way. Use defense items on a stairwell. So I think they gave me six here because my adaptive difficulty went so damn low. That was so bad, man. I got really unlucky on the staircase. Hold on to those for IV purposes. Do I have any first aids left? I think we have the time for me to check out that closet. So we have liquors here, don't forget. Block. The absolute worst is when they're both in that room over there. When one's here and the other's camping the closet, as I refer to it as, it's not as bad. the herbicide. I wonder if it's a Vigil now that I think about it. Welcome back, Dr. Lee. You have five new messages. Yeah, if it's important, they'll call back. Damn. Should have packed my... Erka. Oh, that time she actually finishes the line. 
Cooling complete. So yeah, I'm gonna attempt fate. We're gonna try to go in there past the two liquors. They both might be over there now. That one's not in a bad spot. We're going out that door if we're going this way. Let me see what all is in here first before I figure out what's going where. There should be a knife. Sadly, at this point, the knife is not really as good an item. But yeah, your whole reason for coming here is if you want these items. Maybe new ivies up here, which is why this route's a little dangerous. Dispensing solution. So much for the weed on the station. Dispersed a dangerous solution without serious solution. Your actions have been locked and may be subject to dispersed. Oh, measures. There it is. No, that's not going to be enough to drop both. Now there's going to be one right here, we're going to duck to the left to see if we can evade it. There's only a handful of the ivies that you really need to kill. The rest are just a waste of a fl uh, flame grenade. I keep calling them flare grenades, damn it. At least in my head I am. Is. We shouldn't run into any enemies until we are ready to face Birkin as G3. Need to figure out which gun I want to take. I'm leaning towards the revolver right now and putting some magnum rounds into him. grenade here. Yeah, we need to restore power to the area, so we need OSS. Wrong thing. Let me change it. Don't really know what's going on with the dogs. Probably should be concerned. Okay, one by one you hear the neighborhood dogs quiet down. That tells you whatever's there is over. Um, we don't really need to grab anything at the moment. We have one more item box before we have to fight G3.
a large, so I'll take some acid rounds, thank you. Ah, oh, man, I got ripped off there. Let's see. Flame rounds. Put those back. Put those back. Put that away. I'm gonna put those away. Need a green herb. Antiviral agent. Gotta get back to Sherry. So yes, we're leaning off with Magnum rounds here. Class A So I alternate these so that I can try to get both dots ticking. Okay, let's go uh, scavenge some supplies. Target has been neutralized. Ending quarantine.
There's like a hundred rounds of pistol ammo around here. Service lift is now operational. <laughs> But in case you're wondering, we're done with the grenade launcher. G4 is very resistant to it, so it just doesn't really amount to anything. What is that? Spark shot? So yeah, for my record, I'd be done in 10 minutes. This time, <laughs> it's not happening. Part of the reason why is I bother with the TMP at all. All that time I spent is... kind of wasted. Get back to Sherry. And then I did get a little lost, since... I've been getting, like, phone calls non-stop. I mean, hell, you know what? TMP. Put that away. Alright, we need to find Sherry. Then we get a Nets bracelet. Sherry, walk faster. I don't want to rush you, but we have to go. Yeah, and unfortunately here, Sherry's gonna ramble. There it goes. This is the way out. That was a knife. Put that away. Put that away real quick. Knife, knife, knife. 
There's gonna be some ivies. I'm gonna spray them with my machine gun here. I was thinking about bringing the flame rounds, but I opted against it. For some reason, there's this, this door that only Sherry can squeeze through. And unfortunately, the ivies will not target Sherry, so you can't get rid of her. I actually could have taken that. So in order to start this, you have to examine it, and then she teleports behind you. Stupid thing's locked. Hold on. Sherry, where do you? I think I can open it from the other side. Incapacitate them in order for her to trigger, in case you're wondering. Nice work. This is the one hit point zombie. Somewhere around here. You. Sherry, you so here's where Leon faces Mr. X. We actually get across because we need to get the train moving. inventory spaces. This one I'm looking for. Worth a try. Crap, they're in there, aren't they? Wrong way, Sherry. Run faster. here just because I can't find the damn fuse. Oh. I actually could have left the bracelet behind, I think. safety. There's an achievement for knocking him off there.
Almost out of Gatling gun ammo. It only has 400 shots. That's the end. There he goes. So how bad was the time? Because that felt like it sucked. I only saved twice. Huh. So yeah, two hours, one minute, twenty-two seconds was that. Yeah, I think I did only save twice. I forgot to save once. Whoops. So yeah, you belong on the ground, small carbon footprint. I had those in the laptop version, for some reason they don't synchronize. So yeah, my original one was actually faster. Um, you get the small carbon footprint for taking a minimum number of steps. If you don't go back into the police station, that's like an easy way to make sure you can just push forward with the storyline and such. But yeah, that is your hardcore runs that will unlock all the game's content. Um, I would like to get Resident Evil 4 this year, but I don't know if I'm going to have the time for it. Maybe next year I'll do the B scenarios, but I'm not holding my breath. Like, they barely differ from the A scenarios, which is why I feel like they're a waste of time. They don't offer you anything new or unique, it's just... Well, they offer a unique gun, that's about it. But other than that, it's just really, really lame. I don't know, if you guys request it, I'll put it on the itinerary for next year, but otherwise, that is it for now, folks. I am the Hero of Light, thanks for watching, and goodbye.